Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I do mobile home living in a trailer park in Tennessee. Today we're tackling this big old eyesore of a porch. This porch has been through the ringer. I uh, made it over about a year ago and since then it has seen some catastrophic events. We're talking stain splatters, uh, big old DIY messes, sawdust covered. It's it's been poorly treated since we made it over. So we are going to transform this very chaotic looking mess of a porch into something very relaxing. I was originally going to go with bright summery colors, but summer isn't year round here in Tennessee. We have four seasons and we fill them all sometimes within the same week. So I'm going to take a more neutral approach. I'm going to go with my gut, take a more neutral approach, and then just do seasonal accent colors throughout the seasons. That's what I really want to do. I want this to feel very relaxing. I want the spa kind of feel to it. I want us to come out here and be able to unwind. Transforming this turd space into an area we can all enjoy is the goal. Give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. Won't somebody help me take these chairs off the porch? So our neighbors are gonna think we're weird. Spoiler alert, they already know that. <laughs> One thing about me is I don't learn my lessons, so I'm just obviously going to keep propping the door up underneath the banister, and it's just going to keep shutting. <laughs> we still don't have a water hose attachment, so I'm doing this with some elbow grease and scrubbing it with a deck scrubber. Can I have a door stopper, please? A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Oh my gosh. You're doing a sucky job. Hey, you know what? You mopped under my feet. Now I'll never get married. So the paint professionals that I talked to, well, I guess that's what they're called at Lowe's. I don't know. But they said that as long as I use the same kind of paint I used before when I painted the deck, that I should be able to just go in and paint over it without having to strip it. I don't know how accurate that is. Kind of sounds like I'm taking the easy way out, but I mean, I'll take it and we'll see how it works. Better my porch being a guinea pig than your porch being a guinea pig. So if you get, went with the oil base before, you're supposed to go with the oil base after or a water base before, a water base after. If you're actually a paint professional, I know a lot of you guys own painting businesses and stuff. If you are, let me know how accurate that information is because I'm a little bit skeptical. Regardless, I'm going in with Valspar, the solid porch paint, and I'm going in the color October Brown. In bad times, I know I'll be okay, cause I find my way. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's almost dark and we're still out here working on this thing. Two 
things made me choose to go with a solid brown porch. The first was the white rails. After I got it done with the last makeover when I painted the white, the rails white, they made my cream colored house look very dirty and yellow. So like the white against the cream made the cream look very, very dingy. It's already dingy because it hasn't been pressure washed in a hot minute, but it made it look worse. And then secondly, I have a very, very old porch. It's, it's seen, it's weathered. It, it's seen some days so the white accented <laughs> it accentuated the, the weathered look of the wood and it and it ended up not looking rustic not looking farmhouse just looking old and, and weathered so the brown kind of covers it up especially in the solid and not the semi-transparent it kind of covers it up to where you can't really see how weathered the wood actually is I couldn't afford to go in and redo the whole deck so I kind of had to work with what I already had and the brown just looked better on the wood that was already there However, we do have plans to lengthen out this porch. So it just depends on how this porch holds up, if we lengthen it out or if we just replace it completely. But we do have plans in the future to bring it out more and make it a bigger deck and then add a porch covering over it. This outdoor rug came from Lowe's. I believe it's a five by seven and I absolutely love it. It has little friends on the end. It's so cute. Does this porch furniture look familiar to y'all? <laughs> In the last video, this caught my eye at Ross and I thought about it all night. I actually had to go back the next morning to get it because I could not get it off my mind. I was already in the market for a patio set, so why not? I was like, why not? And plus, I price matched it to one that's so similar at Lowe's, and the one at Lowe's is 300. I'm not kidding. If I'm lying, I'm crying, and I ain't shed a tear. It really was 300 more dollars than the set I found at Ross, so that's a win. I found this lot at Lowe's. It's much bigger than my last one, so I was a little bit concerned that it would weigh down the area because I I didn't know how heavy it was but it's actually not heavy at all it's actually quite a lot hi y'all welcome to another fine episode of we're gonna hope we don't get shocked <laughs> i'm your host thunder mcguffin that's my name i'm thunder mcguffin and old thunder mcguffin's gonna climb up here and and fix this daggone light you're lightning by the way shane's tag hanging out i'm sorry thunder's tag hanging out <laughs> If y'all have any suggestions on what can take that number tacky stuff off the side of the house, please let me know. We have tried scraping it off. We have tried razoring it off. It, it's like literally plastic. It, it's almost like it's plastic attached to the house. We can't get it off with nothing that we have tried. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. You like them? Yeah, I know it'll be alright. We are closing. 
now than ever and I know we'll be alright. Why would they put them in there loose like that? <laughs> they look like they gave you like uh <laughs> the things that go on the bottom of an aquarium. <laughs> I'm over this makeover. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I know, it's when your hand gets close to it. But why won't it stay on when your hand leaves? I'm that hot. So tell them the struggles of this makeover thus far. A, we can't get this to stay turned on without Shane's hand being right there. So can you do this one? Did you even try it? What do you mean? Did you not hit the try me button? Okay, can you turn it on? No. So, we bought a fire pit <laughs> that we didn't know was going to run off of gas. I don't know what we were thinking it was going to run off of. But, it didn't come with the gas, which makes Obviously. sense they can't stick the propane in a box. So now we have... But here we are at 1030. And nobody's open. These batteries. You're kidding me. It what? takes three times. I don't have batteries. <sighs> I have triple A's, <laughs> but I don't have double Shane. <laughs> we don't have propane. We don't have sunlight. We, we don't, don't have, have double A batteries. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, can you at least put these flowers over here in this bucket for me? Flowers? Yeah, beside my head. Oh, okay, geez. so I guess we're just going to pretend this works. I'm just going to pretend that this works. <laughs> <laughs> Zachary Bates! Look! Zachary! Look at the candle! Zachary Bates! <laughs> this is a disaster! <laughs> hey, that turned out good though. Oh man. And these turned out good. Yeah, but it's it's the little things that's driving me. Hey, look, you, you what? just keep your hand what? right here. Oh wait, I'm it. <laughs> wait, here, put your hand there. Wait, it's on oh, now. Oh snap! It's this. What it's is light. it? It thinks that that's sunlight. Don't touch. Why? Wait. Would you do wait, that? Wait, 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 wait. Look. <gasps> y'all always say, Marina, y'all do such a good job on your makeovers. It always turns out great. Half the time, we don't have what we need. The other half the time, we have what we need. It don't work. The other half the time... We have what we need, but we don't have the accessories needed to make it work. <laughs> such as AA battery. So, never watch my videos and think, oh my gosh. Which I, I don't know who would watch my videos and think, oh my gosh, they have it together. <laughs> who am I kidding myself? <laughs> Me on my high horse right now. <laughs> But don't ever think that things just go smoothly. If I, if, if for some reason it doesn't end up on camera, just know that I had racked my brain. I was banging my head in the wall. I, I keep hearing some, I keep hearing something buzzing. I probably more than likely had a tantrum. I definitely pitched a fit about something. <laughs> but it's always a hot mess express over here. Not only in my homemaking, in my life as a mom, in my life as a wife. Life is but, a wife. Did you mean to rhyme there, Dr. Seuss? <laughs> <laughs> I like to be a good husband and a husband. A what I was going to say is you're about to see me plant flowers at almost midnight. <laughs> That's how much I have it together at this point. And you're also <laughs> going to get half of a reveal in the nighttime and half of the reveal in the daytime because it's too dark for us to saw. And I don't trust Shane with the saw in the daylight, let alone in the nightlight. So I could saw with my eyes closed. You could not. Okay. In a box, you could not, would not. <laughs> with a fox. <laughs> I wouldn't so. dare with a goat or in a boat, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are going to get this half of the porch with it basically being done except for half of these lights not working. <laughs> and no gas in the fire pit. But you guys will get other after shots uh, in the daylight too. So it's always a hot mess express over here. Yeah, I'm the conductor bad. of that train. Did, was there a reason you had to interrupt me by saying that? I'm a conductor of the Hot Mess Express, so just know if you ever go into projects with expectations of everything going smoothly, no. Okay, so you guys can just imagine the flame here. How cool hey, does that you, look? Can you edit a flame into that? Oh, let me try to edit a flame into it. I don't care if it's like 16-bit <laughs> Mario flame or something. Just put that just in there. Just picture that sucker. Look how pretty. 
That little lamp looks just a flickering. Hey, with the way that the light is oh, hitting so that, that, it kind of looks to, like it's I'm a flame. I'm supposed to wear gloves when I handle lava glass. What? Shane had one job to get the hole in that center, and he didn't even do it. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. So we're doing something right here tomorrow in the daylight when we can see to get it done. And we're also putting a new handle on the screen door. But I'm going to put some soil in this little planter right here and put my little new flowers in there so that I can get an after shot. Look at all these bugs. So I can get an after shot of this side of the side of the porch. I said I would do, be doing the planting, but <laughs> Shane volunteered. Tell us how you did that, Shane. Because well, <laughs> there's pieces all over the porch. <laughs> so, to explain what it was, I had a screw on here that was way too tight, couldn't get it. None of my bits were wanting to turn it. In fact, I had a couple of bits actually tear up on it. So I was like, you know what? Let's just drill a hole through it. Well, that's what I did. And it and popped pieces it. went flying everywhere. <laughs> Dang, that sucker was stuck yeah. on there. So I screwed, the top is what busted off of it. The Oh uh, yeah. The head of the screw. a standing slanted planter for my vegetables because my dogs had been getting into my vegetables and peeing on them and eating them and all sorts of things so I wanted to keep my vegetables safe because I really want to try my hand at planting this year so I was looking on the internet and they were really expensive what I was looking for and then I couldn't find any local so I found these long very sturdy plastic planters at Lowe's. They were the color I needed so I didn't have to paint them and I just got a couple of pieces of wood to reinforce it and had Shane screw each side of the planter into a piece of wood to kind of do it like almost like you would a blanket ladder but I wanted the the planters themselves to be able to tilt or swing if I wanted them to. I used the heftier sturdier planters but if I had used like the simple black plastic planters I would have reinforced it with a piece of wood in the back to almost do it like a ladder effect just to keep it sturdy but this was going to be attached to the porch and just leaned up against my house so I didn't really need that it also wasn't going to be overflowing with flowers I'm just going to put two plants on each planter and that's it I'm not gonna forget what I'm planting this time I'm gonna keep the little sticker thing in there see this is a cucumber cucumber I'm gonna call it my vegetable ladder. My no, my stairway to sn a snatched body. I'll eat produce if it if I grow it. I ain't gonna do all this growing and not do none of the eating. All right, how's that look? That's a hybrid tomato. What's that mean? Oh, me and Shane had to both carry that sucker up here. It's heavy. Do what you got. Do you have a moment? Oh, you got your R off. Thought <laughs> you're having a moment. You are having a moment. Come close, come close, stop your crying. It'll be alright. Just take my hand, hold it tight. I can't get all this on my fingers. Baby, go. I am trying to scrub away this residue right here. Can y'all see it? With this thing and some window cleaner. Look, that's how I feel about right now. That face right there.
To better flow with the whole relaxing atmosphere and the neutrals and stuff, I did repaint my main door here and I painted it in the color Black Noir. I think Noir is how you say it. It's an exterior paint and I did it to just kind of go with all the earthy tones and the greens and stuff like that and I absolutely love it. I've used the flat so it kind of looks matte and it just goes with the color scheme better than the blue black did. Uh, I love the way that the porch goes kind of with my shutters and stuff. It's all the same color tone. It's like a cool kind of brown kind of. I don't know just very earthy and I like it. I love the way that this turned out. I could not be any happier with it. I hope you guys have a blessed morning even not. Whatever Whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later.